I am Hatan. I greet you, my friends, in the love and in the light of our infinite creator. It is, as always, my pleasure and privilege to speak with those who are seeking. My brother Laetos is here. He is in the room with you. He will be conditioning those of you who desire this service. My friends, we would like to take this opportunity to say a few things about desire. Desire is a somewhat misunderstood phenomenon upon planet Earth. The misunderstanding lying participally in the feeling that one has desires about only certain sorts of objects. My friends, the term desire is very pale for what we are aware of as desire. The truth, my friends, is much closer to the intensity of fire. There is, however, no such word as what we are looking for, and we use the word desire. Perhaps the use of the word will is close to understanding of desire. Each incident that you experience in your present activities is a result of one thing, my friends, desire. The work of past desire is brought to fruition in the present. And for the future, my friends, while in this illusion it is reasonable to speak of the illusion of the future, your desire at this time shapes your future. It is your future, my friends. You were given complete freedom of choice by an infinitely loving creator. Give back to the creator the highest desire you can be aware of. Be aware, my friends, that there is much to transcend. There are many levels of earthly desires that may be transcended fairly rapidly by those who seek. The more esoteric intellectual desires may soon be passed by those who truly seek. Are you aware, my friends, that you may desire to be a star? You are aware, my friends, that it is permissible to desire any and all of the understandings that you wish to know. The shape of the path that you follow is ever towards the infinity of the circle of unity. As you reach the reality of planet, of star, of open space, of infinity itself, as you begin to become aware of how far your desire may take you towards the love of the Creator, so you may turn back to the present and concentrate, my friends, concentrate upon the purity and the essence of this desire. You wish to know, to understand, and to accept the truth, the highest truth, and as you do this, my friends, you will be moving, as well as you do this so well, will you move towards that which you seek. For it is desire alone that will impel you forward. Your desire, my friends, your desire. We can only encourage you and give you food for thought. The sun shines beautifully upon your planet, everywhere the same, and yet, my friends, if you have what you call a lens, the sunlight may be so focused that it will burn paper. This, my friends, is desire. Desire to know the infinite creator in the highest way of which you are capable. We are most happy to be of service to you in this seeking at any time, in any way we can. We are with you. Seek, my friends. Seek and focus. Meditation is the focusing point. It will not be very easy to bring to the people of this planet understanding. They have for many, many centuries of their time been immersed in a way of thinking that is totally incorrect. The people of this planet have given almost no consideration to the spiritual nature of creation. This is a great mistake. The creation is entirely of what you would call a spiritual nature. There is nothing else. Creation is not at all what you think it is. It appears to you to be of a certain nature. But this is simply because that at this particular time your awareness is limited to the boundaries of this particular nature, to the boundaries of this particular illusion. We will surely be experiencing a much closer contact with peoples of this planet. Their understanding of us and our purpose in being here will at first be almost negligible. They will have no understanding of our objectives or our values for they do not know reality. It is going to be up to those of the group such as this one who have been able to experience some portion of reality to convey our real purpose. This is... This is not going to be in all cases very successful, for it requires considerable meditation and seeking in order to discover the truth of which we have so often spoke. There are many of your peoples at this time who would meet with us with much less alarm than would have occurred at a previous time. However, these numbers are not too great, and there are but very few who understand our true objectives. Nevertheless, it is going to be necessary for us to accelerate our program of contacting peoples of this planet, for now the time has grown quite short. 
and there will be certain things in the way of contacts that will now occur that could not have occurred in the past. There shall be, however, no general proof to the peoples of this planet at large of our reality and our purpose. We still wish to remain in a condition so as to cause seeking of those who would seek. There are many of the peoples of this planet who do not desire to seek, and for this reason it is not possible for us to encroach upon their desires. There are many who would much prefer to remain within the illusion that they now enjoy. This may seem strange to members of this group, but this is true and will be necessary to understand in contacting your peoples. It is your job to serve only those who desire your service. It is your job to serve only those who desire your service. There will be many of those who dwell upon this planet who will not, under any circumstances, wish to be made aware of the spiritual nature of this creation. And as I have said, it will be necessary to be careful not to impress upon these people ideas of the nature of the reality that we bring to you. This may seem a strange way of serving peoples of this planet, but this is our interpretation of the wish of our Creator, that each of the Creator's children seek what they desire, regardless of any other interpretation of the value of those desires. It will be important, therefore, if we are to aid and communicate with members of this group in a more direct manner for them to keep in mind the necessity for them to only aid those who seek. I am sorry that there has been some difficulty this evening in contacting this instrument, but this sometimes occurs. I will at this time leave this instrument. In the love and in the light, be in peace, my sisters and brothers. I will speak with you soon. I am Matan Adone Vasu.